praise the name of Jesus. Welcome, welcome. I greet you in the name that's above every name. The name of our Lord and Savior. I pray tonight that you will be touched. My topic that I want to minister on and speak on, when you pray in tongues, it brings the fire down. Um, but before we start, um, I just need to go into some info that I got. And uh, we not going to discuss it because there's nobody to talk to. But I will give you the info because it's very important that we know where we stand in this day and hour. I believe the, I didn't see the news, but I believe the children are going back to school and I know they are not a, a 10 or 50 people, they are hundreds of them. My question today is, why is this church still in lockdown. If the church is the foundation of society, why should we be silent? I want to make a request to the South African government. Do not, do not treat the church like an entity that does not have any say. Let me tell you, when we start praying, we can remove and we can replace. And I don't mean by toy toy and running down the street and said the government must go down. When the church really pray, we can remove whoever is in power. So do not treat the church like the church is a nobody. No, we are a divine institution from the throne room of God. We've been placed upon the earth to represent a living God. So remember that. Then something else that I want to bring to your attention. I saw on this, on Facebook, uh, uh, um, a letter or a news from uh, President Trump, Donald Trump. Uh, he, uh, this is what he wrote. Before I came to power, there was a lot of wickedness going on against America, my country. As a billionaire, I decided to run for the president to change the status quo. I later won the election and since the inception of my leadership, all my salaries do go to less privileged America. I bought I brought my best team to rebrand American economy and to do that, which Democrats couldn't do, America became the best economy in the world. Since I took over power, all the media houses turn against me from one false news to the other. But anyway, um, uh, you can find it on Facebook, but I want to read just a, a, um, a few more things. We have spent trillions of dollars just because of what China caused. I would, I would have used this money to liberate Africa, especially those trapped in Nigeria and stop the killing of Christians. And, when I, and I'm in a very sad mood now. If you see the statement, say a word or pray for me, President John Donald J. Trump. We will pray for him tonight. Then there's something else that is very important, beloved. Uh, Japanese professor of medicine, Professor Dr. Honju, caused a, a sensation today in the media by saying that the coronavirus is not natural. If it is natural, it will not have affected the whole world like that. Because depending on the nature, the temperature is different in different countries. If it were natural, it would have only have affected countries with the same temperature as China. Instead, it spread to countries like Switzerland the same way it spread to desert areas, where if it were natural, it would have spread cold to, in cold places, but would have died in hot places. I have done 40 years of research on animals and viruses, 
it is not it is not natural it is manufactured and the virus in, is completely artificial i've been working for four years in the huan laboratory in china i know all the stuff of this uh, lab well i call them all after the corona accident but all of their phones have been dead for three months it is now understood that all of these technicians are dead based on all my knowledge and research today i can say this with 100 percent confidence that corona is not natural it did not come from bats china made it if what i say today turns out to be false now or even after i die the government can withdraw my nobel prize but china is lying and this truth will one day be revealed to all. This is very, 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 very important news, beloveds. We are sitting with a biological war against, not only against the church, but against the most powerful country in the world. Why? Because if they can destroy the economy, it basically means they can take over and control. In China, there's over 100 million Christians, and many of them are martyred and died for what they believe. And let me tell you, in South Africa, the South African government is in cahoots with the China government. And I want to tell you tonight, we're going to pray that separation will come between China and South Africa in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak confusion. I speak separation in Jesus' name. I pray right now that the, the government of South Africa will open their eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke that foul spirit. I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. I take my place of authority in the kingdom of God. I come against the Leviathan spirit. Uh, uh, the Leviathan spirit right now. That dragon spirit. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that dragon spirit be slain by the power of the might of the almighty God. In Jesus name. Father we thank you for victory. Thank you for victory. Let me say, beloveds, this was a professor that studied for 40 years. But before this came to my attention, I listened to the prophetic words that came out from the mouth of great men of God and the, what the Lord had showed them. And uh, to my memory came now uh, uh, somebody by, by the name of Apostle Johnson Suleiman that prophesied that God showed him that this virus was a weapon of war. We come against the power of darkness. There's other voices as well in America and all over that saw that it was man-made. I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that power in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray right now whoever is responsible by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the angel of the Lord appear in that country, appear in that presidential office and strike them in Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus. When a man is evil, we release the angel of the Lord upon them in Jesus' name. And God still answers prayer. And those who believe it tonight say amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Beloveds, we, when we pray in tongues, it will bring the fire down. I remember in my earlier years when I traveled and that was 95 and in 95 before I went into full-time ministry, even while I was working for uh, national media, uh, um, when I go home or when I before I go to work, it all depends what time was my uh, uh, 
what time I was working, if it day shift or, or night shift, I would spend most of the time about four hours a day in prayer. So my life was a lifestyle of prayer. But when I went into full-time ministry, I increased, I went on to a, a lot of fast, 21 day, 10 day, five days, 40 days fast. But I, when I go into that fast, what happened was I would pray the whole day. I would spend time in prayer. At that time, I didn't have a, 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 a TV. I gave my TV to somebody else. And so I was, I was a, 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 a praying machine. So the presence of God was upon my life tangible. So I went to this place called uh, Papa Zella. That was one of my second or third meetings up in the north, 95, 96. So my life was a lifestyle of prayer. And the prayers that I prayed was praying in the Holy Ghost. I didn't mind spend six hours, seven hours, eight hours a day in prayer for weeks and for seasons. So when I went to this place, one day we had a, in the morning I would teach on spiritual warfare. And in the evening I would preach but that morning after I taught and I and I and I we begin to pray and pray for uh, uh, until three o'clock and just before I left for we finished the meetings um, some people that were the worship team I called them because I wanted to release the power of God upon their lives so that when they minister they will minister in the fear of the Lord they would minister with an, an unction upon their lives and uh, as I called this young lady that was at the prayer meeting but also part of the worship team as I told her look at me the moment she looked at me uh, she started to scream and uh, when she uh, closed her eyes I put my hand upon her head. The moment I put my hand upon her head, she started to scream. And I realized immediately it's a demonic power. And that moment I cast the devil out of her in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord set her free. There was somebody else at that moment as well. But this one... Uh, um, the devil was cast down. So after I prayed for her and ministered to her, I asked her one question, two questions. I said, listen, lady, why did you scream when you look into my eyes? She said, I saw fire coming out of your eyes. I said, why did you scream when I tried to lay my hands upon your head? She said, when you laid your hands upon my head, I saw fire coming down. Let me tell you, when you pray in the Holy Ghost, when you there's a place in the spirit when you so prayed up that the moment you start to minister, fire will appear. It doesn't matter where it is, where you go. I, I remember in some of our conferences and some of our meetings that the people of God, the church, would experience the fire of God. They one lady started to run away from me, and then they told me, No, the I saw you coming and in your hands were a ball of fire. It's like a fire in your hand. And I want, was afraid that you will throw me with that fire. I pray right now that the fire of the Holy Ghost will saturate you, come upon you, that your life will be changed forever, that your life will be totally touched touched by the fire of God. And let me say to you, beloved, where there's a move of the Spirit of the living God, the fire of the Holy Ghost will uh, appear. God didn't baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with pickle juice. No, He baptized you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. When fire comes, uh, it will expose the demonic. Uh, when uh, Paul went to the island of Mal uh, uh, um, when they got shipwrecked and landed on that one island in the last book of Acts the Bible said he made a fire and when he made the fire out of the wood came a, 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 a co cobra a serpent and the serpent bite him let me tell you right now whenever the fire comes uh, 
serpents will appear. Every witchcraft power, they cannot stand the presence of God. They cannot handle the presence of God. How many times did I find or heard testimonies of people when they were under attack? People will shoot at them and the enemy try to kill them, but they pray in tongues. They pray in the Holy Ghost. They pray in the Spirit. And while they pray in the Spirit, the bullets had no effect upon their lives. I release fire upon your head so that you will receive the baptism of fire and speak with a glorious language, the language of the Spirit, the language of power, the language of of the move of the Holy Ghost. Everybody say amen. In Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. The Bible said. Let the word of the Lord. Dwell in you richly. In all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another. In psalms. In hymns and spiritual songs. Singing with grace. In your hearts to the Lord. Let me tell you, the natural outflow of being filled with the Spirit is to speak in tongues. You just want to worship God in tongues. You just want to go into another realm. That's why uh, um, when we pray in the Spirit or when we sing in the Spirit, beloved, it releases the atmosphere of the glory of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 from verse 30 to 15, Wherefore, let him that speak in an unknown tongue pray, that he may interpret for if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with my understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. You must understand, beloved, that is the gift of diverse kind of tongues and there's also your prayer language uh, our prayer language is more for your personal edification it is there to edify you it is there to build your spirit man to make your spirit man strong so when the power of hell is released against your life uh, then it means you are able to stand why because your spirit man is built up uh, that's why i love uh, the book of jude verse 20 21 where he said Bold yourself up in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. So I mentioned it before. John G. Lake said, the making of my ministry, the making of my ministry was praying in the Holy Ghost. I want to remind you of that. Smith Wigglesworth, his whole life changed when he received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When he received it, he began to minister in power. He was unable to speak. He had a, 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 a defect that he didn't, oh, he couldn't speak in front of people. But the moment he was baptized in the Holy Ghost, God changed him into another man. God wants to change you into a different person so that you will experience the fire, the power, the glory of God. May the spirit of the living God come upon you, beloved. May you experience God like never before. And that's why, beloved, it is so important for the New Testament church to know how to pray in the spirit. And let me tell you, when you pray the Holy Ghost, it's not according to your feelings. You activate the gift by faith. When you activate the gift by faith, you pray by faith, believing that God will speak through you, that God will begin to deal with your spirit, that God will touch you in your spirit, man. When the gift of diverse kinds of tongues come upon you, it's a different anointing. When I pray in the spirit, I might not feel anointed. I might not feel anything. But as I press in, something is released in the atmosphere. Power is released in the atmosphere. When I stand before people, it is because of a result of the power of the Holy Ghost that is flowing through me. I'm speaking to you right now. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. Get uh, refreshed by the spirit of the living God. So 
some of you go through hard times, you go through tough times, you are always down. It is time that you get filled with the Holy Ghost. Pray in tongues. I said pray in tongues. Pray in the Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 from verse 32 to 33, the Bible said, And the spirit of the prophets is subjected to the prophets, for God is not an oath of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Let me tell you, beloved, when the spirit of God moved, God is not the author of, 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 of confusion. It means the spirit is subjected to the prophets. It means when God begins to move upon somebody and then the Spirit of God begin to give them words uh, and they want to uh, 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 speak in tongues, it will only, the, the prophet or the one that God used will know how to control his emotions. If you are in a service and I'm busy preaching and suddenly you stand up and you begin to speak in tongues and you want to take over the service because you said, no, God, uh, I want to speak through me. No, you cannot. If God is busy from the front, you cannot stand up and silence me. God is not confused. The one that stands up need to bring their spirit unto subjection. And let me tell you, a lot of times when that happens, it is because people want to show how spiritual they are. If you spiritual, you know how to control your spirit man. You know how to control your flesh. Uh, your flesh. You will not step out and do something contrary to the word of God. Paul encouraged believers to pray in the spirit. He said, pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. What is the prayer of supplication? The prayer of supplication is the cry for mercy. Oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Oh Lord, show us mercy. In this hour, oh Lord, show us mercy. And in Psalm 136, the Bible said uh, in the one translation, and he loves, his love endureth forever. His mercies endureth forever in another translation. And the Bible said his mercies endureth forever. And he killed Pharaoh and his mercy endure forever and he killed the army of Israel and his mercy endure forever. When you ask for mercy, then God will move on your behalf. He will begin to touch you in a supernatural way. He will touch your mind. He will touch your spirit man. Let me tell you, beloved, I find out the more I pray in tongues, fire will appear. Fire will come. And there's one thing that the enemy hate. A people that know how to pray until the fire appear in their prayers. Let me say to you, the easiest way to cast out demons is when you so prayed up and fire of the Holy Ghost come. When power comes, when God manifests himself, when God show up in a place. Why? Because the enemy cannot stand fire. I pray today that God will restore the church, the life of the church, their prayers, uh, that they will pray so much uh, wherever they go, wherever the enemy sees them, they will see fire. They won't see you. They will see fire. They won't be able to look into your eyes uh, because the greater one lives in you. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Let power manifest. Let me just read the NIV translation and pray the Spirit will on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and request. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the saints. We are requested to pray in the Spirit on all occasions. Not sometimes when you're in your prayer closet. That's why in our house, 
We have one prayer. I lead them in prayer. Then I say pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. Stir up the gift of God. Lay the foundation. And when the power and the fire of God is there, no witch, no wizard can enter the atmosphere. Why? They will be exposed. Everyone in that service will be able to discern if somebody come into that place. I pray that the prayer language will come be uh, uh, so part of our lives. Uh, wherever you walk, wherever you go, you will be a praying machine. Uh, even if you go down the street, walk down the street, drive in your car, there will be an unction uh, to function that flow through you. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Uh, pray in the Spirit. Let the power of prayer be upon your life. Uh, let the Spirit of the living God fall upon your life. Uh, let God show him mighty and strong upon your life. In that same crusade in Papa Zella, the night before they gave me the mic, an atmosphere moved in the, the worship team, begin to worship. There was a presence of the Almighty God. There was such a an awesome presence and while we were singing one lady fell down and they gave me the mic and we continue see, singing as, and as I walked towards this lady I saw that demons manifest in her there was a manifestation of demons but let me say to you when you pray up it is easy to handle them when you're not prayed up, you go the long way. And I told the usher because before that, I came from places where we, in, in Namibia, we, we battled for four hours to get somebody being set free from witchcraft, divination, and sorcery, whose mother-in-law was a witch. We prayed for her. She was uh, uh, in Swakopmund. So I thought, and... The, uh, when I was still not full time, we prayed for over two, uh, two hours in Sebo King. Nothing happened. We had to call the pastor uh, uh, and said to the uh, uh, members of the church, take this woman because it was already one o'clock. We still have to go to work the next day. So I thought this is going to be a long story. But let me tell you, when you pray in tongues until the fire appears, something supernatural will happen. So they took the lady to the back, outside the, uh, the tent, into a building. And I continued to minister because I didn't want to struggle for two hours in front of the people. So after the service finished, I went to the back. And the usher came to me and said to me, the demons told them, if they cast them out, we will kill this woman. And they also said the one pastor didn't want to pray for this woman that was possessed. The demon said, listen, this pastor gave us permission to stay. At that moment, I went in. This is what they told me. And the building had no electricity so I said we need the electricity before I would pray for this woman and they also told me while we had the service that people that were demon possessed saw fire upon the tent so she was afraid to look at the tent and this lady was a church a church goer and the demon said the way they came in because of prayerlessness. There's many prayerless people in the house of God. Get yourself full with the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost vigorously. Some of you can't even pray 10 minutes in tongues and then you get quiet. It is time that you build your capacity to hear from God. Build your capacity by praying in the Holy Ghost. So I told them, listen, I wait for the there was a candle burning, a couple of candles, because it looked so spooky to go and pray in a candlelight. So I didn't want to pray. 
and I went to one side in the corner and I began to pray in the Holy Ghost. I began to pray in the Spirit. And while I pray in the Spirit, the usher ran to me and said to me, Pastor, this devil said, we must go. There is fire in this place. There is fire in this place. Let me tell you, I pray today that God will restore prayer tonight. Uh, praying in the Holy Ghost. Uh, even if it's for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours. Uh, and you continue praying in the Spirit. Fire will appear. I said fire will appear. When fire appears in your life. Uh, and then what's going to happen is... Uh, power will be released because the devil can't stand fire. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So he called me and said, the devil said, we must take our stuff. We must take our stuff and go. There is fire. So immediately I changed my mind. I ran immediately to this woman. I said, look in my eyes now in the name of Jesus. Out you go. Out you go. Immediately she was set free. Why? The appearance of fire. When you prayed out. The reason why we sometimes battled casting out devils. It is because of a lack of fire. A lack of prayer upon our lives. I release the baptism of fire upon you right now. I release the baptism of fire now. <laughs> right now in the name of Jesus. Let fire come, come upon you. Let the power of God be made manifest upon you. May you experience a new touch tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fall upon them right now. I ignite them tonight by the spirit of the living God. Holy Ghost ignite them with your fire. With your power. Let a new prayer language. A fresh anointing fall upon your people. Upon the house of God. Upon the the church of the living God right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let this time of incubation not be wasted uh, because of hibernation. I release the fire. I release the power. I release the presence of the Lord right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody right now. You're going through a hard time in your life. You go through difficult times in your life right now. By the power of the Spirit of the living God, I break the power over your life. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release the fire of God upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break the depression. I break the oppression of hell. Now. Out you go in Jesus name. Loose and set my sister free. Deliver her right now. Set her free in Jesus name. Let power come. Touch them right now. Touch them right now. Father, there are people that are hungry for more of you. More of your spirit. More of your presence. They did not understand the tongues business. They did not understand how much they missed out by not praying in the Holy Ghost. I release your presence upon them right now. Baptize them oppressed, Lord. There are some that are watching right now. You are not even baptized in the Holy Ghost. You, re you desire it. Lord, let your presence fall upon them right now. As I pray right now, let your power fall upon them. Let them receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and with fire. Release it upon Open your mouth. Open your mouth and God will fill it. Open your mouth right now. Begin to speak. Trust him right now. Then he will fill your mouth. Now in the name of Jesus. I release fire. I release power. In the name of Jesus. Do in the life what no man can do. 
la manda li atanda la manda la bakurbo na li asatana la manda father we are not at war against a man or a woman we are at war against the power of darkness right now this corona corona strong man i bind you i rebuke you i curse your words i release our oh lord release your mighty warrior angels with fetters of fire to bind the strong man and take him down to the abyss we command this virus to die this biological weapon right now evaporate and die evaporate and die evaporate and die evaporate and die in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus i want you to pray this prayer with me say the words after me and then you're going to pray your own prayer pray in the holy ghost if you can't just trust god and pray in the natural language but the best prayer that you can pray beloved is praying in the holy ghost because it's the spirit of the living god praying through you la manda la bakurbonia some people love to go into the natural i love to go into the supernatural let my spirit man be one with the holy ghost as i pray tonight pray with me heavenly father every conspiracy against my life against my church against my community against my country tonight be scattered in the name of jesus every voice that is speaking against my destiny be destroyed by fire every voice every place where my name has been taken for evil be destroyed and be silenced right now every marine power working against my life every power of darkness rising up against the purpose and the destiny of god for my life for my family for my church right now be destroyed be destroyed in the name of Jesus every oppression of the devil be gone right now every work of wickedness be destroyed in the name of Jesus be set free and be delivered by the hand of the Lord father we give you praise we give you glory we lift up your name we praise your name Romona dia sandara ba kurbona dia tanara mandia just for a few moments pray with me right now pray in tongues pray in the holy ghost roba satana la mandara ba kurbona dia tanara mandia robo satana la mandara ba kurbona la mandia robo maria tanara mandara ba kurbona roba kan la kurbona dia andara mandia Roba kan la kurbona li atana la mandia Roba kan la kurbona li atana la mandia Roba kan la kurbona la makarbona li atana la mandia Robona li asanda le bokurbona la mandia Romana la bakurbona la makarbona Fire fire in the name of Jesus Hallelujah I believe somebody here tonight God is going to give you a financial miracle, a financial breakthrough. Father, we praise you right now for that miracle, for that breakthrough. We give you praise, we give you glory, we magnify your name, we glorify your name, we exalt your holy name. Father, we pray tonight that souls will be saved, souls will be delivered, souls will be set free by the power of the might of god in the mighty name of jesus we declare the glory of god we declare the victory of god over their lives in the name of jesus we pray right now for those who are sick in the body those who are suffering 
from any infirmity, from any disease, every work of darkness, every form of sickness, even this coronavirus, this thing that was created by man, by demonic powers, right now, I command it to shovel and die. I command it to shovel and die. I command sickness to go. I command sickness to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break your power. I break your power in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to go. Loose and let them go. Loose and let them go. I speak healing. I speak restoration. I speak the word of God over your life. Every enchantment from the demonic world right now, every marine power, I release the fire of God against you. I release every incantation that you make right now. Die in the name of Jesus. Be loose and be set free in the mighty name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your miracles. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Lord, that you touch people tonight in a supernatural way. Thank you, Jesus. Beloveds, family of God, be blessed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. God loves you. Jesus died for you so that you might have abundant life. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life so that you may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I want to speak over your life that you will see the goodness of God in the land of the living in this day and in this hour. In Jesus' name, be blessed. See you tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.